find the orthogonal projection of vector v onto subspace w spanned by the set of vectors vector u sub i. Assume that these vectors u sub i are orthogonal. So here we are given that subspace w is equal to the span of the vectors vector u sub 1, vector u sub 2, and vector u sub 3. And now, since these three vectors are orthogonal, we know that these three vectors in the spanning set form an orthogonal basis for subspace w, which allows us to apply the following definition to find the projection of vector v onto subspace w. So we can recall that the projection of vector v onto a subspace w is going to be equal to the sum of the projections onto each of the vectors in the set u, or excuse me, in the subspace w. So that's what we need to do here. We are going to find the orthogonal projection of vector v onto subspace w by computing the individual projections and then taking their sum. So here's our scratch work. We have the projection of vector v onto vector u sub 1, which we know by definition is the dot product of vector u sub 1 with vector v divided by the dot product of vector u sub 1 with itself multiplied by vector u sub 1. So we have the dot product of vector u sub 1 which is defined as 1, 1, 0, 0. And we're dotting this with the given vector v, which has the components 4, negative 3, 5, 4. And then this is all divided by the dot product of vector u sub 1 with itself. So this is our scalar multiple multiplied by vector u sub 1. So computing these dot products, in the numerator, we have 4 minus 3 plus 0 plus 0, all divided by 1 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0, multiplied by vector u sub 1. So our scalar multiple is 1 half, and now we're ready to multiply this by the vector u sub 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. So our first projection is the vector with components 1 half, 1 half, 0, 0. So now we're moving on to the second projection, and this is the projection of vector v onto vector u sub 2. So by definition, we know that this is the dot product of vector u sub 2 with vector v, all divided by the dot product of vector u sub 2 with itself, multiplied by vector u sub 2. So our scalar multiple, we have the dot product of vector u sub 2, which is 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1. And we are dotting this with vector v. So that's 4, negative 3, 5, 4. And this is all divided by the dot product of vector u sub 2 with itself. Again, this is all multiplied by vector u sub 2. So computing these dot products, in the numerator, we have 4 plus 3 minus 5 plus 4. And in the denominator, we are left with 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 multiplied by vector u sub 2. So this is going to simplify to the scalar multiple 3 halves multiplied by vector u sub 2. So 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1. And distributing that scalar multiple through, we have the vector with components 3 halves, negative 3 halves, negative 3 halves, positive 3 halves. Beautiful! And last but not least, we need to consider the projection of vector v onto u sub 3. So by definition, we know that this is the dot product of vector u sub 3 with vector v divided by the dot product of vector u sub 3 with itself, all multiplied by vector u sub 3. So vector u sub 3 is the vector with components 0, 0, 1, 1. 
and we dot this with vector v, which has components 4, negative 3, 5, 4. And this is all divided by the dot product of the vector 0, 0, 1, 1 with itself. And remember, that's just the scalar multiple, so we're multiplying this by vector u sub 3. And computing these dot products in the numerator, we have 0 plus 0 plus 5 plus 4. And in the denominator, we have 0 plus 0 plus 1 plus 1 multiplied by vector u sub 3. So our scalar multiple is 9 halves multiplied by vector u sub 3 which is the vector with components 0, 0, 1, 1. And distributing that scalar, we are left with the vector with components 0, 0, 9 halves, 9 halves. Phew! So we are officially ready to find the full projection. So we can say that, therefore, the projection of vector v onto subspace w is equal to so our first vector, the first projection, vector v onto u sub 1, was 1 half, 1 half, 0, 0. And we are adding this to the projection of vector v onto u sub 2, which has components 3 halves, minus 3 halves, minus 3 halves, positive 3 halves, plus the projection of vector v onto u sub 3, which is the vector with components 0, 0, 9 halves, 9 halves, and combining up those like terms. We are left with a beautiful final answer. We have 1 half plus 3 halves is 4 halves, or 2. We have 1 half minus 3 halves, which is minus 2 by 2, or negative 1. We have negative 3 halves plus 9 halves, which leaves us with 6 halves, or 3. And last but not least, we have 3 halves plus 9 halves, which is 12 halves, or 6. And so there you have it. This is our beautiful final answer.